Hello and welcome to Color Up. Today I want to talk about a basic strategy for craps. Now I don't mean the mathematically optimal way you would play, such as in blackjack, there's a certain way that you should play. Um, for craps that would be the don't pass with maximum odds. That would be the best way to lower the house edge as low as possible. But what I mean by basic strategy for craps is a basic kind of strategy or way that a lot of craps players seem to play and they have a, f a lot of fun with and they hope to color up with. So let's check it out. Today's video is part of our Dice Advice series and this strategy was submitted by PM. And you can find PM on YouTube here. He's always in my comments. And actually I've posted about him a couple of times because he's always wearing a color up shirt in the casinos when he goes out. So thanks a lot PM and I appreciate that. He likes to call the strategy the inside press with hard ways. So let's check it out. So what he likes to do is start with a pass line bet and then wait for a point to be stable. Let's say it's a nine. What he's going to do is follow it up with two to three times odds. And for this demonstration, I'm going to go two times odds. And then he's going to cover the rest of the inside numbers. So depending on what the point is, he's going to cover the rest of them with two units each. So in this case, it'll be $10 on everything uh, and $12 on the six and eight. And then the other thing he'll do is cover the hard ways, the six and eight hard way for $2. Again, I call this a basic strategy because I see it so much and, and actually it's a pretty decent way to play. So we've got the point covered with some odds. We've got just the inside numbers placed and these are for a little fun, you know, a couple bucks on some hard ways. Now with any hit on an inside number, let's say maybe a five hits and you get paid $14, he's going to use that money to press the six and the eight. So in this case, we'll go ahead and press this up to three units, collect the $2, and that'll be that for that hand. And the next time a number hits, he'll collect. So he's just going to um, cycle through pressing and then collecting. Now he doesn't mention pressing up any of the other numbers. He just says if a number hits, then he presses the six and the eight. So I'm just gonna assume, I'm gonna just gonna keep pressing the six and eight, which are, you know, which are great bets. Now if a Hardaway hits, they pay nine to one. So in this case, a $2 bet is gonna win $18. He's going to press them each up one unit or one dollar and then collect the rest. And he'll continue doing that every time he hits a hard way. Now, if he ever loses a hard way, he'll just replace it back down with a two dollar bet. Now, hopefully we can get a decent roll going for PM. So let's check the strategy out. All right, we have a three hundred dollar bankroll. We're on a five dollar table. Let's go ahead and get our pass line bet down and see what happens. Here we go. Coming out. And the point's going to be eight. Eight's the point. So we'll drop our money to get the rest of the inside numbers covered. And we'll drop some change to get the six and the eight hard way covered. All right, we're set up and here we go. And we got a six. So the first hit we're going to press and then after that we're going to collect and then kind of back and forth. So our $12 is going to pay $14. So we're going to press the six up one unit. And then, oh, we forgot our odds. Let's get our odds down here. And we're going to press the eight up by adding one unit in odds. We can rack the rest. And it was an easy six actually. So we lose that and then we'll have to recover it. Now, hopefully I don't forget this too many times. I'm not a center table player. So, um, you know, it's gonna be hard for me to remember to take care of that section. All right, here we go. Hopefully we hit a six or an eight. And there, right back on that six, great. It is easy, so we lose our six. But this is going to pay 21. And this time we're gonna collect, um, but we do need to cover the hard way. So we'll go ahead and just rack the rest of it up. And here we go. And another six. Six easy, so we'll lose there. We're gonna get paid another $21. We'll go ahead and bump this up one unit. So now we got a $24 bet. We'll collect the rest and uh, we're gonna pull it out of here to cover the hard six again. And yeah, we wanna press the uh, eight again. Now it's gonna depend on what your table limit is as far as odds go. We're gonna assume this is a five times odds, so we'll have to stop it five times. Um, and again, he didn't 
It wasn't real clear. He just said, press the six and the eight, no matter what numbers hit. So I'm going to assume it's happening this way. Um, but I don't know. I'm sure he'll correct me in the comments after this video posts. All right, here we go. Let's hit that six again. And 12, midnight. It's not gonna help us. And there's a four. Outside numbers. Looking for something inside here. Dice off the table, no roll. And there's a five. My dice rolled there, but it was a five. So that's gonna pay 14. Last time we pressed, so this time we'll just rack it up. Here we go. And there's an eight. Great. It's an eight easy, so we're gonna lose our hard way bet. But let's see, we're gonna get paid one here, and then we're gonna get paid six for every five on the back. So we'll go ahead and rack that up. And uh, pucks off, same shooter coming out. Here we go. And it's gonna be a nine, points nine. Go ahead and mark the nine. Now this, we're gonna cover with the pass line. We'll go ahead and get double odds behind there. And we'll go ahead and move that over to the eight. So we need to drop some singles. Now it's up to you. Maybe you wanna leave the six up. Maybe you wanna um, transfer some of it to the eight, whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it like this, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave it like that. And let's drop some change to get our hard eight covered. And uh, here we go. There's that nine, hitter point, great. One in the front, three for every two in the back. Go ahead and rack all that up. So far we're off to a good start. Puck comes off. I need to get some more change here for the house. And here we go, same shooter coming out. And we got a six, points of six. All right, so we're gonna take some of this. We're gonna cover our nine and then um, go ahead and use this two times in odds for the six. And then we'll go ahead and rack this up. So now we've kind of, we've been pressed up, but now we're down, which is okay. Um, that's fine. We don't need to be pressed up and lose it all. So here we go. And we got a four, four hard. And eight, eight hard, there we go. So we'll go ahead and pay the hard ways first. We're gonna get $18 win there. And again, we're going to press them up $1 or one unit and we'll rack the rest of it. And with our eight here, let's see, two units, so we're gonna get paid 14. And we're gonna go ahead and press the six and the eight up. So we'll press the eight up one unit and press the six up by adding it in odds. All right, here we go. And we've got a nine. 10 is gonna win 14. Last time we pressed, this time we'll go ahead and collect. And dice off the table, no roll. And we've got a 12 midnight. Looking for an inside number, here we go. And we got a nine, hit that nine again. Last time we collected, so this time we'll press. I need some more ones here. So again, 10's gonna pay 14. Let's go ahead and press this eight again. So we got a 24 bet on that and we'll add another five in odds. We'll just collect the change here. All right, shooter, let's see that six or eight. And no, not gonna happen, seven, seven out. It's all right, I think we did okay. We're gonna have a new shooter. Let's go ahead and get down on the pass. Here we go, coming out. And we got a five, the point's gonna be five. So we'll go ahead and drop our money to cover the rest of the numbers. And uh, let's see, the six, 
D8. I'll go ahead and I'll pull it out of here to cover the hard ways, just because it's a couple bucks. Don't want to forget my odds back here. Two units and we're set up and ready to go. Let's see some inside numbers. Dice off the table, no roll. I know, I need a, I need a real table. Five, we hit our point. It's gonna pay three to two, one in the front. So there we go. Go ahead and collect all that. Puck's gonna come off. Let me grab my dice here on the floor. All right, same shooter coming out. And seven on the come out. It's a perfect time for the come out seven. We don't mind that. Just go ahead and collect that. Um, but our sevens typically, well, not typically, I don't know. A lot of places I know of, the hard ways are gonna be off for the come out roll. So we'll just, those are off. And seven again. Just a quick win. Oh, it won't stay in there, it keeps popping out. There we go. And six, point's gonna be six. Mark the six, we'll go ahead and ask the dealer to slide that over to the five and we'll just get that returned to us. We need to get our odds down here. And here we go. And no, quick seven, seven out. That's a bummer. All right, that's okay. I'm gonna get down on the pass. New shooter, let's see what happens this time. Here we go, coming out. And the point's gonna be five. So mark the five. Go ahead and get our odds down first because I keep forgetting that. Get the rest of the numbers placed. Oh. I'll just pull the, I was gonna get changed, but I'll just pull the ones out of here. So we need to get our caps for a six and eight. And we'll get our hard ways covered. Give that to the stick man. We're all set up and ready to go. Let's see an inside number here. And there's an eight, that's perfect for us. 12 is gonna pay 14. And the very first hit, we're gonna go ahead and press these. So we'll press these up one unit. And um, that is an eight easy, so we lose our hard way. And we'll just replace it with this. All right, here we go. And another quick seven out. We started off, we started off fast and now, uh, now my amazing rolling skills are starting to rear, rear their ugly heads. All right, I ain't afraid. Let's get down on the pass, here we go. That's why you bring enough bankroll to cover multiple shooters. I like to do it 10 times. I'm not sure. $300 for this is probably enough for, not enough for 10 shooters. Uh, what was it? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, you know, 60 bucks. So you're probably looking at about $600 um, cause that's the initial outlay. You're probably looking, you should probably bring about $600 if you want to play this way. At least that would be my recommendation. All right, here we go. Coming out 10, 10 hard. That's gonna be the point. So we'll go ahead and drop our odds. I'll drop some money to cover the inside numbers. Grab our ones for our caps. And we don't have enough to cover our hard ways, so let's go ahead and change that to the dealer. Cover the hard ways. Get a dollar back. All right, we're set up and ready to roll. And it's going to be six. Again, that one's 14. First time we're going to go ahead and press. And it was an easy six, so we lose here. We'll just replace it with this. And here we go. Six or eight. There it goes, six. Six easy, so we lose there. But we got three units here. So that's going to pay 21. Go ahead and get our hard six covered again. And we'll 
back up at $20. And yeah, next time we press. Here we go. And it's going to be a nine. It's going to pay 14. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and press it. So now we're up to four units. Go ahead and rack that up. Here we go. Six or eight. Let's see it. And we got a nine. That's fine. We get paid 14. Let's go ahead and Drop the dealer one for 15. Rack that up. So we collect that time. Next time we'll press. And not going to happen. Seven out. So these were pressed up pretty good, but we needed to hit one. All right, puck's off. I'm not sure where we're at. Looks like we're about even. I'm not sure the number should be down the side, but we're just kind of treading water here. So hopefully we can get a decent roll this time. Let's see what happens. Here we go, coming out. And 12, 12 craps. It's gonna be a loser on the front line. We'll just follow that up. And point's gonna be five, five's the point. So you get our odds down. Place the rest of our inside numbers. Let's get our caps. And this time we definitely need change. Get the hard ways covered. Change of a dollar. And here we go. Wow, seven, seven out. Sorry, PM, no luck. Not doing well here. Start off really well. Since then, it's been going downhill pretty fast. All right, I really don't have enough for another uh, shooter, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull from my winning rack here uh, just to give it one more chance, just to see what happens here. Maybe we can turn things around a little bit. Here we go, coming out. And the point's gonna be nine. Times and odds. Let's get the rest of our numbers covered. Go ahead and change this for our caps. Get a dollar change. And we still don't have enough for the hard way, so let's get some more change. Get our hard way covered and three back to the player. We're set up and let's see a decent roll here. Come on. And there's a five. Gonna pay 14. First hit, we're gonna go ahead and press it up. Go ahead and rack those two. Here we go, six or eight, let's see it. 10, 10 outside. And 12 midnight. Three, three craps. Middle of the game, we don't care. Come on, let's see an inside number here. There's a nine, hit our point. Get paid one in the front and three for every two in the back. Go ahead and rack these up. Buck's gonna come off. Our bets are off. Pass line's working. Same shooter coming out. And it's gonna be a seven on the come out. Just a quick win. And we've got a five. Our new point's five. So we'll mark the five, we'll ask the dealer to move this over to the nine. Let's go ahead and get our odds down, two units. These are pressed up to three units. So let's hit one of them, what do you say? Three, three craps. And 12. Okay, let's see some inside numbers. 10, 10 hard. A little more inside. And uh, not that inside. We didn't want it right down the middle. Seven, seven out. But that's how it goes. Um, but again, I call this kind of a basic strategy um, because I see a lot of players play this way. You know, some variation of pass with odds or, you know, they cover some of the inside numbers and, you know, a couple bucks on the hard way. So I see a lot of players play that way and it's, it's a good way to play. It's a fun way to play. You know, if you're hitting some numbers, 
uh, you'll do well. As you saw there at the very beginning, it was going pretty well. After that, my rolls were just, just deadly short. So I didn't help out PM any, 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 any with, um, with those rolls. But um, yeah, let me know what you think in the, down below in the comments. And uh, until next time, good luck on coloring up.